Hello, this is Shirley Smith. Uh, today, we, what we're going to do is talk about lamenting. So, what is lamenting? It's actually an opportunity for us to spend more time with God. All of our spiritual practices are for us to spend more time with God and to get to know Him better. Concentrate on getting to know God better as much as we concentrate on getting to watch TV and getting to know other people. <laughs> We would be doing well if we would spend at least that much time with God. Sometimes we go through uh, different issues uh, and we don't know where to turn. In most cases, we automatically turn to either a best friend or maybe a neighbor or a relative and we take those issues to them. But then if you notice that you're taking issues to your best friend, your relatives, your uh, significant others, whoever you're taking them to, but for some reason you don't seem to be getting through them, then perhaps it's time to take them to God. And so lamenting is doing just that. You can pick a psalm where you see um, David crying out to God for help or for deliverance or whatever his situation may be. And then you'll notice at the end of that psalm, David is always grateful, thankful, and worshiping and praising God at the end. So this is um, an area where I really love to work with our graduate students on because it is a very vulnerable place, it is a very revealing place, and it is a very needed and necessary action because at some point we as leaders, we need somewhere to go to take care of personal issues that we may be going to humans trying to help us with it. is able to handle the issue and give us comfort, not only comfort and release, but he's also able to put it to rest. And so this is why we suggest that you do lamenting as one of your spiritual practices. And you can do that as often as necessary. What I found is that I have done lamenting over the loss of my close relatives several times. And when I say several, I'm talking two or three times. In other words, um, it's nothing wrong with um, being able to sit down and talk with God about things. But I would suggest that you write a letter to God and explain to Him exactly how you feel, explain how um, misunderstood you feel, explain how you don't understand what has happened, and then follow it with, but how awesome you are, Father. So, just wanted to throw that one out there as one of the spiritual practices that we need as humans, and especially as leaders, uh, I think sometimes we may have a few too many leaders in leading people, but they are hurting themselves. Uh it's difficult to be an example if you can't be one. So what you have to do is admit that you can't be the example at a particular time and allow someone else maybe to take that role on until you can go through the lamenting process, okay? Uh, I will get some materials for you next. Thank you.